Hi, I'm James Nave. I'm Allegra Houston. And welcome to the Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week session. We gather together with a group of people every Saturday morning on Zoom. Maybe one of these weeks that group will include you. And we write together to a writing prompt. And so when the image comes up, which it will in a moment, what we would like for you to do is take two minutes, don't worry, we will time it, and generate some words. The words don't have to fit together or they might just give yourself the opportunity to look at the image and respond and write a word or maybe two words as as you feel moved to do and it's a list just keep it as a list it's not joined up writing yet so here is the image And so on the Saturday morning Zoom call, when everyone is finished generating their own personal list, we go around the Zoom room and get one word, sometimes two, from everybody on the call. We usually have 25 people or so. And then we all have a community list. And the folks on the Zoom call write the list down. Since you are not on the Zoom call, what we would like to do now is read our list that we collected this morning. And Allegra will go ahead and do that. And just so you know, we will put it up again during the 10 minute writing part. So you don't have to write it down. You can just listen to the words that we collected from the group this morning. Here they are. Rudimentary, left brain, rumination, ruckus, hot spring jacuzzi. It's complicated. Candle kettle, clawfoot tea party, bathtub mousetrap. Rube Goldberg, Steam Junkie, Good Life, Solution, Leverage, Cool Grandpa, Ingenious, Candlelight Bath, Steampunk, Bubbles, Wrists, Invention, Some Like It Hot, Intuition, Mechanical Cleanliness, Hot Bliss, Trust Water, help. And if you take a look at that list, you'll see all kinds of word combinations that are imaginative, different and unusual. Um, Rube Goldberg, by the way, is the sort of American version of Heath Robinson would be the, the British version. Um, and in fact, that drawing was by Heath Robinson. And so what we would like for you to do now that you have your personal list as well as the community list we are now ready to give you the 10 minute writing prompt time. And the way this works is you can write as 
long or short as you like, as much or as little as you please. As fast or as slow as, as you please. As fast or as slow as you want. And you can use as many of the words you have or as few. Whatever sparks your imagination. And you have 10 minutes to do it in. And, and as we always say, you know, write as fast as you want or as slow as you want. Some people write haikus. Some people write tons and tons of stuff. We call it letting your imaginative mind and your rational mind dance together and letting your imaginative mind lead the dance. So in other words, you know, don't try and like get out of your rational mind. You can't. You're a grown person with a rational mind. It has value for you too. And it will really enjoy this dance. The thing is just to let your imaginative mind, your imagination lead and go wherever it wants to go and have your rational mind follow it, admire it, laugh at it, <laughs> get excited by it, um, and possibly add some ideas into the pot. So your, your dance begins now.
If what you wrote pleased you, we would appreciate it if you would post it on our Imaginative Storm Circle community. That way, we can read it. Um, you can read what other people have written to the same prompt and also all the other prompts that we've been doing for a year now. Um, you, can, you can like and comment on what other people have written and they can like and comment on what you've written. So this is how you do it. So when you go to imaginativestorm.com, you'll see the Zoom link for the Saturday morning writing prompt of the week here and also here. And if you continue to scroll down, you will find join us on Circle. Click that link. And when you get there for the first time, you will find a, a thing sort of up here in the top right saying join or, or you know, log in or something like that. I can't remember. So you can log in with your Google or Facebook ID or create a new ID and password. It's free. And when you've done that, it will look like this. So here are four spaces that explain to you kind of what we're about and what we're doing here on the circle. And over on the left, you will see this area, share your writing. And here is prompt of the week. Click on that. And you will see all the prompts of the week since we first started doing this in order from most recent at the top. So when you get there, the most recent prompt will be posted. We usually, we have it posted by um, the end of the day on Saturday. And when you click on it, you'll see the prompt itself, the community list, and then whatever pieces of writing the other people who've done the prompt have posted. And those are comments attached to the post. So if you scroll down to the bottom, like so, you will get to a place where it's inviting you to make a comment. And that's where you can type out what you wrote to the prompt. I don't know if you noticed as I was scrolling through, there was one person here who actually recorded a selfie video of herself reading what she wrote and she posted that. So feel free to do that if you would like to do that. When you've posted a comment, other people can hit like or hit reply if they want to comment specifically um, and say, you know, what in the piece popped for them. Feel free to, to um, add those, you know, those comments, those uh, moments of praise for what other people have written. We ask you not to be critical because, as you know, these are pieces that are only written in 10 minutes. So um, criticism, negative criticism um, is really, you know, just not relevant. What we want to know as writers is what we've created that has energy. What pops for you as a reader? What do you find surprising and intriguing? So if you have that response to a piece of somebody else's that you read here, please do hit reply and let them know. Also over here, you will see a space to post for the daily prompts that we put on social media. And here, one last lunch. I won't tell you much about it other than that it's a book that I contributed to. And I think it's one of the most interesting writing prompts ever devised. So I do encourage you to try that out as well. So we would appreciate it if you join us on Circle as well as every Saturday morning. You're more than invited to join us for our Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week session. And you can find out all about that on imaginativestorm.com. There you go. I left <laughs> yeah, off the dot com. Right. <laughs> um, it's at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, which is our time. 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, 5 p.m. London Time, usually. Uh, don't know what time it is in Rwanda at the moment. We have someone who joins us from Rwanda, but the time change kind of messed him up this week. Anyway, do please join us. You might also be interested in some of the courses that we offer. Um, we have Imaginative Storm Writer Training, and we're at the moment doing single sessions of those. There will be a memoir single session on Thursday, May 26th. There will be a fiction single session on, eek, I forgot one, the date. I think it's June one day, 8th. One day in June. <laughs> yes, sometime in early June. You will find that information on imaginativestorm.com. And we'll also have a session on landscape coming up soon. We don't have a date for that yet but it won't be too far in the future. So we look forward to connecting with you, however that happens, and we appreciate you taking the time to be with us today, and hopefully you'll come back for more. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>